We do have some updates on the tragic death of 16-year-old Nex Benedict. Now, this story has gotten a lot of interest. It's very sad. This teenager um, dying after an altercation in a bathroom at their school. The teenager was alleged to be non-binary, uh, but it is now not at all clear that the death was related to what happened in the bathroom or injuries sustained from it. And new video calls into question a lot of the details that have been circulating in the mainstream media about the death. Um, including, frankly, whether the person actually was non-binary, uh, whether they had a relationship with the attackers, and what was, in fact, the ultimate cause of death. Now, this following video is from the nurse's office where Next Benedict was sent after being involved in an altercation with three girls. Of note, Benedict is referred to as a girl in the video with no pushback from the teenager, though her, the teenager's friends say that Next Benedict prefers they, them pronouns. Benedict actually claims to have instigated, started the fight with the girls in the bathroom by um, throwing water at them. Let's take a look at this. So they just up and decided to just start messing with you? There was, there yeah, was... because of the way that we dress. Okay, so you didn't do anything at all at any point in time that would have uh, even a couple days ago or even a month ago or, or anything like that? I don't know these girls. Okay, all right. We were going to stack chairs, and we after we stacked chairs, we mm -hmm. went to the bathroom. Okay. And I was talking with my friends, they were talking with their friends, and we were laughing, and they had said something like, why do they laugh like that? And, and mm -hmm. they were talking about us, in front of us. Mm -hmm. And so I went up there and I poured water on them, okay. and then all three of them came at me. Uh, you know, uh, pouring the water. Because I'm, I'm trying to get this in my mind, so I see, you know, as best I had I a water bottle. Thank you. That's what was that. Where did you, where did you get this water? Was it a cup you found? Was it your water mm, bottle? It's my, uh. Your daily water yeah. bottle you'd carry around. I, okay. It was a plastic water bottle. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so you squirted them with water, threw water on, whatever it was. Okay. Um, then at that point, what happened? Uh, they came at me, they grabbed out of my hair, I grabbed onto them, uh, I threw one of them into a paper towel dispenser. And then they got my legs out from under me and got me on the ground, started beating the out of me. Okay. okay. And then my friends tried to jump in and help, but I'm, I'm not sure I blacked out. When I will absolutely do a port. If that's yes, what you want, I, want I can it. do Okay, but I'm just letting you know, the other party wants to do the same thing. She's going to be, uh, the assault will be on her as well. Now, later on in the video, Benedict claims they didn't know the girls they were fighting with, and additionally, police reported that a preliminary investigation into next Benedict's death was not a result of physical trauma from the altercation and that the cause of death is pending until toxicology results, other testing results are in fact completed. Following Benedict's death, many public figures and LGBT advocates spoke out and demanded justice. Vice President Kamala Harris tweeted out, my heart goes out to next Benedict's family, friends, and their entire community, to the LGBTQ plus youth who are hurting and are afraid right now, President Joe Biden and I see you, we stand with you, and you are not alone. LGBT advocacy group Human Rights Campaign sent letters to the Department of Education and the Department of Justice asking for a full investigation into the circumstances surrounding Benedict's death. This really does feel like a tragedy, a 16-year-old yes. who's lost their lives, that has, has been politicized prematurely. Yes. Um, by a number of parties. I know I think there's a, a good a good faith reason to want to extend one's condolences to a, a family and particularly when someone's a member of a marginalized community in a state where frankly that very community has come under target. This is, mm -hmm. you know, Oklahoma where uh, Raya Chaddock of Libs of TikTok has recently been appointed to this library position. There is some concern about whether or not there's this st st stochastic terrorism happening where people feel more inclined to attack verbally or physically members of the LGBT uh, plus community. But in this instance, it's not super clear how this child even identified, much right. less whether or not this altercation had anything to do with her um, identification, her gender identification. Right. Uh, much less whether um, Max Benedict, frankly, was the w was just a victim in it or also a participant. I mean, there it yeah. sounds like 
and this is a, and this is also this is a common school experience. Sure. I think we're I mean it's again ter- there's tragedy full stop that someone died for whatever reason a kid died yeah. and that is awful and people should offer condolences and if they were bullied as a result of the way they dress and look that is bad it's it's a co- it's the most common experience in schools but we should work to make yeah. schools safer places for everyone places where there's less harassment for everyone but it yeah it sounds like a very typical making fun of someone escalated in in both directions with this person throwing water at people and and actually doing a very aggressive physical action against one of those people i think saying slamming their head into a paper towel dispenser and then they fought and and there was a scuffle and look, this is something schools should address. And uh, if, if you were handing out detentions or suspensions as a result of kids feuding it for all involved, that would be totally uh, appropriate. To involve the police in these kinds of routine scuffles at schools, frankly, I think is very, very bad and is not the direction we want to go. And uh, sc- police. I, we don't want to waste the police's time criminalizing everything that happens that's bad between teenagers. Yeah, if there's if there's really extreme crime, damaging crime, you got to involve the police, I suppose. But these kinds of you know pushing somebody in the lockers, pushing somebody in the bathroom, knocking somebody down, these are very common occurrences that schools themselves have to work on with counselors and parents, and making it a criminal matter. What you're going to give. Any of these kids, you're going to give them criminal records because they had a fight in the bathroom? I mean, that's that's crazy. Does anyone actually think we should do that? Yeah, and look, to the mother's credit, in the tape we just watched, she seems to indicate that she would like the police to bring charges and the cops as well. Just to be clear, given what your right. child just said, this could go both ways. Later on, um, the mom, Sue Benedict, said that she didn't want to file charges at the time and instead asked police to speak to officials at Oeso High School about issues on campus among students. That's from the AP. Now, also to be clear about the timeline of this, it really isn't obvious. It's not evident. There's no support for the idea that the th- that um, Benedict's death was actually the result of this altercation, no matter how serious or not serious right. it was. That's going to the autopsy. They went home. Um, after you know this this school day, and subsequently, I believe it was the next day, started having um, symptoms. At which point, Benedict's mom called uh, the the uh, ambulance. So, the day after the fight, uh, Benedict's breathing became shallow. Their eyes were rolling to the back of their uh, to the back of their head, and their hands were curled, according to audio released by the Owasso uh, police office. And that's the point at which she succumbed. And as you, you mentioned in your read, we're waiting to hear back from more of the taxology and other reports to see what other things might have caused um, Benedict yeah. to actually die. It seems like um, the, the media has really has gotten ahead of itself on this one. Look, it's a, it's a sad thing to happen, and we can all hope for safer schools, schools that are free of less bullying and harassment, again, for everyone, um, including... LGBT kids, if indeed this person actually even does fall into this category, which is not really clear to me. But, uh, you know, what, what is there to, the, the, the calls for a federal investigation? Yeah, is there something to federally investigate at this point? Is yeah. there, is, is that what we're, is, is this a matter for the federal government? It, I don't it, know about that. Based on what we know so far, it just doesn't seem to be the case. Now, maybe it was Richie Torres who called for that. Maybe two days ago, yeah. the facts were not as clear, and maybe he would revise um that desire yeah. now knowing what we know. I mean, we're, we're talking about this because it was covered a lot in, yeah. in major national news outlets, CNN, the AP, the New York Times, over, they, they had an article about this, they ran an opinion piece on this. So we're talking about it because it's, national news outlets are treating it like national news. I, I frankly don't think it is national news. It's, it's something that yeah. would be covered locally and should be dealt with and investigated to, you know, to clear up this mystery and, and maybe policies need to be updated in the school. You know, people shouldn't be loitering in the bathroom where they're away from, from teachers and counselors to have these kinds of incidents. But let's not, I, I don't know that we need to make a federal case out of this, again, when we don't really even know anything that indicates the way it was going. This is a negative example of, of, the, of everything becoming a national story yeah. when this, this is just not a national story. Yeah, and I, I made this 
comment before we went live here, but I think maybe if we did have more local reporting yeah. on the ground, who could get ahead of some of the factual circumstances of these things before they blow up, we never would have had to get to the point where people projected all of this external stuff onto facts that just don't seem to be bearing out in this case. But we'll let you know if there's anything more to know about this particular story. Stick around. More Rising for you after this.